Before we introduce the instruments to the students, we want to make sure that they have a posture that's going to allow them to be successful as brass players. There are two key concepts that you're going to hear uh, reiterated throughout this class. The first is that our goal is to allow for more air. And proper posture allows for that. It allows the rib cage to expand. It allows the abdominal muscles to engage uh, without, in, uh, without any inhibition. That inhibition is the second concept that we're going to address, which is that we're always striving for a limitation of tension within the body. That tension is in the neck, making sure that we're not restricting airways. It's in the embouchure, making sure that we're not restricting the buzz of the instrument. Um, proper posture can set that up really effectively for students. There's a couple of fundamentals in place that allow for positive posture. Um, we want the body to be roughly aligned, so the shoulders are lined up over the hips, the head is resting um, confidently on top of the shoulders in a clear line. The spine isn't twisted, that we're not uh, bending the body in weird ways, because that also impacts then lung capacity and lung control. So three exercises that we're going to do uh, standing uh, before we talk about how we sit. Um, the first of these is what's called a collapse. And uh, in that collapse, we're going to bend at the waist and we're going to gradually build the body up. We'll make sure that the hips line up over our heels. We'll make sure that the shoulders line up comfortably over the hips. And likewise, the head is resting at the top of the spine um, without being in weird configurations, weird twists. So allow the body to collapse all the way down. We're going to roll up for four counts uh, to have it that our hips lock in place, four counts to have our shoulders in place, and then four counts to have the head in place. So rolling up, two, three, four, set the hips, two, three, four, set the shoulders, two, three, four, set the head. And if you take a look, you'll see that my body is pretty well aligned. The spine is straight, the, the torso is extended, there's nothing collapsed. Another way that we can envision this is tell our students that they are marionettes and have a string coming out of the top of their head. So I'd ask you right now, reach up and grab that string. You're going to pull that string straight up in the air, pull yourself up onto your tippy toes, and then when you bring yourself back down, allow your heels just barely to touch the ground, allowing the spine to stay um, tall and extended. So pulling up, two, three, four, bring it back down, two, three, four, and let it rest. What's important here, again, is that the shoulders and hips are aligned, uh, that there isn't any hunching going on, that the uh, torso is fully extended, because that's going to give us the best chance to fully inflate our lungs. The third piece that I want you to think about, our third activity I want you to think about, is how our shoulders are positioned. Um, most of us, on a day-to-day -day basis, usually have our shoulders slightly hunched forward, as you can see from the side profile. Uh, what I want you to be thinking about is making sure that the shoulders are open, allowing the rib cage and lungs that are inside them to fully extend. So what we're going to do is roll the shoulders back, all the way, hyperextend it to an uncomfortable point, and then allow it to come forward just to the point that it's no longer, you're no longer feeling stretch and tension. Let's try that one more time. Roll the shoulders back, all the way, all the way to uncomfortable, and allow it to come forward. As you're looking, you're going to see the shoulders are nice and open, uh, that uh, my shoulder blades are certainly not compressed together, uh, there's no tension there, but it allows for that expansion, expansion that as I take a deep breath, my lungs can fully inflate and fully expand without my body restricting that. So right now on your own, please do those three exercises. Um, first of all, the claps, second, the marionette, and third, the shoulder roll to set your posture Again, thinking about shoulders lined up over your hips with a nice clean balance on the floor. Please make sure that you establish posture first with students standing. Um, the chair introduces some new challenges, um, namely the fact that we're familiar with chairs and we're familiar with slouching while we sit in those chairs. Um, before introducing the instrument, make sure that you establish with the students what proper posture is. So first and foremost, we want the feet flat on the ground. And it's not necessarily that the feet make, um, and legs make that big of a difference in that posture, but if we have the feet up, we have now just changed the way that the rest of our body reacts. Um, our back is typically curved, our uh, waist is collapsed. If we have our legs crossed, we have to compensate by crossing our, or by changing the posture of our spine. By having our feet flat on the ground, it ensures that our body is symmetrical and um, our spine can be easily aligned. If you have posture chairs and you have students who are tall enough that their lap uh, is at least as long as the seat, you can certainly have them sit all the way back 
against the back of the posture chair. If you don't have posture chairs or you have short students who aren't able to sit with their legs, with their knees over the front of the chair, have them sit on the very front, again, feet flat on the floor. The three exercises that we did before um, while standing are gonna be ones that you do here as well. Um, and we're gonna do those to make sure that we're paying attention uh, to setting up our proper posture. Again, the uh, goal is always that the shoulders are aligned over the hips, that the spine is fully extended, and that we're keeping the chest nice and open to allow for full air to come in. So we're gonna start with our collapse. So four counts to uh, pull up from the hips, four counts to set the shoulders, four counts to set the head. Starting with the body collapse down, so rolling up, two, three, four, hips are in place, two, three, four, shoulders are in place, two, three, four, and head should be resting comfortably on top of the spine with everything vertical. Uh, grab the top of your head like you're a marionette. We're gonna pull straight up. Uh, we don't want students to come out of the seats, but we want them to feel as though they're being pulled out of it. So one, two, three, four should be uncomfortable, two, three, four, and the goal is that as they sit back down, the seat is supporting them, but they're not slouching into it. And now let's roll the shoulders into place, collapse them forward, pull them all the way back, and then let them rest comfortably, setting the arms comfortably on the lap. By doing this, again, the chest is nice and open to allow for a rib cage expansion. The spine is straight to make sure that we're not compressing the lungs, and we're set up to be successful as musicians. With beginning musicians, it's critically important that you do these reminders every single day uh, with every lesson um, and should encourage them to do it at home as well so that they're setting themselves up to be successful.